Today I thought we could take some inspiration from my Pinterest board and put together some outfits. I'm going to talk through the details that I liked about each outfit and how I've incorporated them into my own personal styling. So we'll start with the first outfit and for me this is something that I can very much wear right now. It is almost winter here in Sydney but it's still reasonably mild. I can still have my legs out so it's a knit dress plus a blazer and the thing that caught my eye was the bright red bag. I have this bag here from Fendi which I tend to relegate to more these spring summer months because of that really vibrant tomato undertone and so this inspired me to style it in a way that was more autumn winter ready. So what I've done is I've pulled out one of my knit dresses. I've opted for one that is in a beige knit and it's not quite full length it sort of hangs to midi length and you can see for shoes in the actual picture they're wearing a tan sandal I've opted for a shoe that is similar in tone to my complexion because what I wanted to do was create a really nice long lean line visually then I've thrown on an oversized blazer perfect touch I think and it really balances out that slim fit from the dress then of course the piece to resistance the bag this to me is just chef's kiss an outfit that i definitely plan to be wearing probably sometime this week okay so next outfit is one that i was really drawn to for the mix of textures most notably the patent high shine boots and this just really excited me because it is one of the things i really love about the winter months so a few little takeaways that i got from this one cuffing your jeans so i knew i needed to be putting on a pair of jeans that were going to be really really long uh, oh and i should say the boots that I immediately thought of to wear were these ones from Reiki Men. So not brown, but uh, a black one and they still have that high shine element. So cuffing the jeans, that was the first thing. The second thing was to match my knit to my coat or my top to my coat and this is just a really nice way to build around color in your outfits by blocking it together so it feels really seamless and quite calming so what I've done for the styling is I've got for this really dark blue pair of jeans I can't roll the cuff over twice just the one time and it does have a raw edged effect which I really like and then I have opted to wear a brown tank with a brown coat a really dark cocoa brown and I really love this pairing I actually think I would probably prefer this outfit more if I was wearing it with a black jean because I really like the way that that chocolate brown looks with a black uh, or even maybe more of an ivory or a cream but I did actually think that this was a really chic sort of outfit combo and definitely the mix of textures is where it's at for me I didn't include a bag in the styling but I think if I were to lean into kind of the vibe of the styling with the monogrammed bag then maybe my Louis Vuitton Neverfull would work and that would actually be in the same kind of color scheme as the top and the coat as well. This part of the video includes a paid for integration with Goelia who I'm excited to be sharing some of my favorite top picks from again this month. I've got six items so I'm going to talk through them all, do a little bit of a try on, show you some close-up details and I did also just want to highlight that you can get 25% off site-wide still using my code Jamie25 so a great opportunity to make a little saving off your order. You'll probably all be very familiar with my black and white stripe cardigan jacket I think that's probably my most one of the season so far anyway enough rambling let's talk through the items and I thought we could start with this twill trench that I had behind me so I shared some trench coats in my last video with Goelia this one is in a black and I think a black trench coat is just so unbelievably chic I actually managed to find one at my grandparents house that used to belong to my mother and that was just such a lovely discovery and for me I think it's just a nice way to kind of go for that really long lean look especially if you do love to wear monochromatic black outfits a lot like myself uh, so this one I have sized up I'm wearing a medium and I do think this particular style runs on the smaller side the detail that I really like about this is that there's actually no belt so it fastens up on the side with these attached belts here so you can really cinch it in at the waist and get quite a pinched in look without having that physical belt that can just go missing because I've had that happened to me before and it's always really devastating when it does but yeah really really beautiful a nice fit really good length and I think a lovely option for the office but one that you can take to the weekend as well let's talk about stripes next because we all know I can't resist a good stripe so this is a mock neck long sleeve rib knit top in this lovely kind of it's a pale beige and black stripe so to me I think the beige really helps to soften it and it's a lot less high contrast which is great the fabric is so unbelievably soft it really just feels like wearing a cloud uh, and this is a really good again basic that you can take from work to weekend so it looks great with jeans but also just think with work trousers or with a skirt for the office 
with your blazer thrown on top, even layered underneath more of a blazer dress or some sort of dress as well. So you've got these striped uh, sleeve effect and also the striped detail around the collar. Gorgeous. Next, I decided to try out this rib knit polo top. So this has a slightly different yarn. It's a little bit thicker and it also has a slightly thicker rib to it. It is really slim fitting on the body. I'm wearing it in a size small and it isn't too long either. So you don't have too much fabric to tuck into your jeans and it does have the soft collar detail. And this is one of the items I'm going to be focused on styling up in this video. Then we've got this split hem denim midi skirt, which is another sort of trend based piece. And I was really excited to pick this one out because I've been dying to add something like this to my wardrobe and see how I can make it work. I really like those longer length skirts, something that's a little bit more modest. And I think it's a fun way to play around with the Portions. This truly is the softest denim. It's not rigid or thick. It's really lightweight. I would call it summer denim. So the kind of skirt that would easily work during the warmer months, but also one that you could pair back in the cooler months as well, maybe with a pair of knee high boots and a really thick knit. I opted for a second denim piece, which are these straight leg jeans with the raw edge hem, which I really like. It's a detail I quite often seek out in my denim just because it also means you can easily crop them more if they're too long for you and they look it looks very intentional <laughs> and again these are just as soft if not softer actually than the skirt that I shared with you before this has a slight yellow undertone to the wash uh, but just a really comfortable fit and again I'm wearing them in a size 26 final item will seem like a wild card piece for me but this is definitely how I like to add imprint to my wardrobe if I'm opting for something that is a bit louder or a bit bolder I like to think about how it could coexist with the items I already own so that is thinking about the color palette I have and this is a really lovely cream uh, to me the details that really stood out was actually the silhouette of the top and I think you could wear this both ways with a v-neck in the front or with a higher neck depending on your mood and this has that lovely bubble hem so you kind of get that blues on effect despite not actually tucking it in which is great and if you are wearing a high-waisted jean like I am in the cutaways you see you get this little sliver of skin and of course it has those cool puff sleeves this would be a great vacation piece or just something if you wanted to add in a little bit more drama to your everyday outfits. So those are some of my picks from Goelia for this month. Don't forget you can use the code Jamie25 for 25% off site-wide. Just kind of talking about Goelia, I wanted to style up this denim midi skirt. So I feel like this is a big trend. I've seen so many girls wearing these midi length split front skirts alternatively a maxi length one and I have quite a lot of inspiration here what I was noticing is that there's a real balance between how the colors have been incorporated into an outfit either by blocking colors together or going for more of a tonal column of color sort of a vibe so I first started out by pairing this skirt with a blue oversized shirt this is definitely very reminiscent of the photo where the woman is wearing a black oversized shirt with her black split front skirt and I actually was surprised by how much I liked this combination. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it quite so much but I think it's actually just really chic especially when paired with the mule sandals and to me a really good way to wear this in the spring summer months or even on those milder autumn days. So that was kind of my first pairing and as you can see I really took inspiration from how they've opted for monochrome. I don't have any blue shoes but I thought the black was just the perfect touch. So for the second way that I styled this, I took inspiration from Fashion Jackson and I would say her style is very classic with quite slim proportions overall. She doesn't really wear things that are overly oversized. But I will show you two different permutations wearing this with the black blazer. First one is with more of a slimmer fit, something that I would wear to the office. This one's just from Everlane. And this would be a nice way to wear a denim skirt like this, maybe on casual Friday, but I would probably swap out the mules for a pointed toe pump. Then I also decided to go for a blazer that was a bit more pushed, that had a bit more modernity to it, that was really oversized, so my Frankie Shop one. I think of the two, this one, my eye is settled on a little bit more because it's a bit more dramatic. And sometimes I think when you are wearing more trend-led pieces, it can be more fun to play into that aspect of the styling. And so that one I think really worked. Uh, but you can see what I've done here is I have opted to do the black top and then the black jacket. 
So for my final way to kind of style this, I decided to go with a jacket that leans a little bit more casual, but still has some luxurious elements to it. So I've gone with this faux leather bomber jacket. And to me, this kind of reads casual cool. It really just gels with the vibe of the skirt. It doesn't feel like I'm trying to mix different moods, which was sort of what I was feeling when I wore this with the black blazer, the more fitted one. So that was kind of where I settled on in the end. I would love to know which of the three options was your preference. Preferred. So that was kind of me playing around with this and actually I also really liked how it pairs just with the white ribbed knit top that I had for the try on section so yeah, uh, definitely one I'm really excited to actually get into rotation. So the next image that I kind of came across was very much a spring summer vibe. And coincidentally, this is a photo of my friend Jess Alizu. So I'm going to link her YouTube channel down below. She's very, very stylish. So she's wearing this rib knit polo top. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to style up this one from Goalia. So she's wearing a white one. She's paired it with a black mini skirt. And then she's just knotted a jersey around her pageant style. And I thought that looked really, really chic on her. No idea what shoes she's wearing but I actually think this would look really cool with a pair of Adidas Sambas. Anyway, I decided to go with a column of colors. So I've opted for the black top with a black mini skirt. And then because I wanted to balance out the kind of sexiness of how fitted things were up top, I've worn a high shine Mary Jane. And this just adds in a little bit of additional texture. And that's a way to keep your monochromatic or tonal outfits feel visually interesting. I've also done the crossbody tie with the knit. I would actually use a safety pin to fasten it so that it doesn't go missing because that is kind of my biggest fear, especially if you're doing that with a slightly more expensive knit. Um, and I think that this is actually a really cute outfit, but to me, it just feels a little bit too revealing. I think it's because the skirt is really short and then I'm also wearing a fitted top. And that's not normally something that I would usually gravitate towards myself. I then came across this other image on Pinterest, which is a black rib knit tank with some black jeans. And I thought, you know what, those are maybe proportions that might work a little bit better for me. So I've swapped out the uh, skirt for a pair of high rise long jeans. And to me, I think that this is probably a little bit more in my wheelhouse, a bit more in my comfort zone. So I am still kind of leaning into those more sort of slimmer elements in my outfit with the top being very form fitting. And then the jeans actually kind of being reasonably form fitting, even though they are a straight leg. And it gives me this really nice long and lean silhouette. I did of course also throw that <laughs> knit around my uh, body again and I think it's just a nice way to finish it off and add in that little bit of extra detail. So that was that one. Love to know which of the two permutations you preferred, which one you would wear, but kind of gives you a little bit more of a spring summer option and then also more of a autumnal vibe as well. And of course we love when we can wear our wardrobe across multiple seasons. Final outfit that I wanted to share is one from Felicia Akestrom, which I swear I feature her in every single one of these Pinterest videos. And this was definitely a case of me looking at the photo going, is it the way the photo was taken? So the way that she's standing and just looks so casual and nonchalant that makes us look really chic or is it actually the outfit so kind of like is she skinny or is it a fit you know <laughs> um and I have to say I'm on the fence so I started with my way high jeans which are cropped length not quite what she's wearing there but I wanted to go for more of a blue tonal look I find that navies can be a lot less high contrast than black and I didn't quite have anything in this color scheme that she is wearing here that would sort of work and for me I was drawing more the inspiration from the actual styling and the way she styled the pieces together. So I really love the way that the t-shirt with the high neck actually works with the v-neck cardigan. This isn't really a styling element I would usually do because typically I would just wear it with a little tank underneath so that I'm not disrupting the line of the cardigan. I really like it. I think it kind of creates a nice base and it allows the cardigan, the color of it to really pop and stand out a lot more. Uh, then of course I've worn that loose and that was the sort of the key detail here. And with the straight leg jeans uh, on my feet, I have just opted for a pair of black ballerina pumps. Mine have a little bit of a heel. And you know what, this is fine, <laughs> but I felt like I needed a jean that was slightly longer to really lean into what she's wearing. So I decided to change into those same Minima Essentials jeans that I had on for an earlier look. And I think the length of these works a lot better. They're also more of a highly saturated and darker denim too. So kind of gives off a little bit more of that same sense, that same vibe that Felicia's 
original photo had. Overall I think that this is quite a nice outfit, very relaxed and definitely a good one when I'm kind of doing my off-duty mum activities. A uh, great way to feel like I've put in a bit of effort even though I'm feeling very comfortable. So there you have it, five different outfits inspired by Pinterest. I hope you enjoyed and got a little bit of outfit inspiration for yourself or just some takeaways on how to pair things in your own wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Goelia for partnering with me on a portion of this video. Don't forget you can use the code Jamie25 for 25% off site wide and yeah I will link some of my other favorites down in the description box as well. And of course if you aren't already subscribed I would love for you to do so and for you to come back. It does really help my channel and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Thanks again for watching and see you soon. Bye!